I've seen kitchen appliances get smarter and smarter features, but G Profile, who partnered with me to help make this video, showed me what smart laundry is. And I have to admit, it's come a lot further than I thought it has. So we're heading upstate right now to visit my sister's house in Kingston, New York, so that I can, well, show you what that even means. So a lot of times, devices that get bestowed upon the title of smart just generally throw in Google or Amazon's assistant and then they just call it a day. Now the smart washer and dryer that we're using in today's video did also add the Amazon assistant into it. But while you can do normal smart things like ask it the weather, play music, or banter with her, am I a loser? Well, I only hang out with cool people. So I guess that makes you cool. You're so nice. This model in particular also added in something that I've always known that she who will not be named can do, but I've never really seen anyone utilize it to this degree. And it's something I think also makes laundry smarter. So. Amazon's assistant can be programmed by a manufacturer to listen for phrases and understand specific questions, and then do something specific with the product based on that. Now, you've experienced this with lights, for example, and changing them to a specific color. But in this case, G Profile has given the assistant a ton of knowledge that they've accumulated over the years from making laundry machines to turn her into a laundry assistant. So you can do things like tell her to remove a grass stain. Okay, here's Smart HQ and she will automatically set the washer settings for exactly what you need to fix that. Modifying your washer for grass stains. Put in the exact amount of detergent needed. We'll get to how that's possible in a second, as well as tell you what you might need to do to pre-treat the item before you even put it in. Okay, now something else that I've seen on a lot of smart washers now that I also really like is a feature to smart dispense or smart wash. So you have the ability to put in a certain amount of detergent. In this model, it's about 50 ounces. But once in there, the smart washer will spin and add a little water. Now it does this to measure the weight as well as see how much water is absorbed by the load compared to its weight, which then tells the washer how much of the load is cotton versus synthetics, etc. as all of these materials absorb water differently. Then there is a turbidity conductivity sensor, which can basically tell how cloudy the water is that's coming through the load, which tells it how much dirt or soil is mixed in with the water and therefore how dirty the clothes are that are in the wash. And it'll do this multiple times during the smart wash cycle until the water is clear enough and then it knows it's clean. It also uses the same sensor tech during the smart rinse phase to determine how much detergent is still left in the water. So it knows if it needs another rinse to make sure that the remaining detergent is all gone. Crazy, right? <laughs> and now that's something I've learned that smart washers are all battling to achieve. Clean the clothes just enough and nothing more. And most washers will actually over clean the clothes because the priority number one for the manufacturer is when they come out, they need to be clean. If they weren't clean when they came out, you'd be mad at the washer. But technically, once they're clean, every second that they're in the wash over that is overkill and will technically shorten the life of your clothes as the act of washing is what technically kills your clothes over time. And so smart washers try to find that delicate balance in between the two. Something that would be very hard for you to actually just do on your own. Now, most smart washer manufacturers also know that they don't wanna eliminate you completely from determining what is best for your clothes. And so, some models, like this one, have some customizable options. Now, firstly, G Profiles app actually lets you download an additional cycle. Now, what that means is you can choose from these custom types of wash cycles and whatever cycle you select, you can choose here on the machine. So for example, let's say you choose active wear, which would be washed differently than say your normal cotton because active wear is porous and the detergent actually gets caught in there. Same thing for what happens with your towels and it's why they're crunchy 
sometimes if you don't wash them properly. And so because of that, it needs a longer rinse time. It also does some other factors as well. But that is one of the cycles that you can then download to customize based on what you usually wash. Now besides that, you can also take more control on this model in particular by dialing in different levels of power, the higher, the more agitation and cleaning happens and care. So say longer soaking times and longer strokes and combine the two to get custom cleaning for whatever you know your specific item needs. Now moving on from the smart washer, to the smart dryer. One of the things smart laundry systems can do now that it's kind of cool is the washer can take whatever info it used to wash the clothes and automatically send it to the dryer. That way, when you take your stuff out of the washer and put it into the dryer, the dryer settings are already set. The length, the temperature, the agitation, etc. Now, another thing that smart dryers are doing is they're trying to get it so that you wash your clothes less in general. So instead of putting something that maybe you only wore once and for a short period of time in a full wash, again, the less you wash your clothes, the longer they'll last. You can throw it in the dryer with a specific mode for this and use a fabric wrinkle release or similar product to add some scent and quickly refresh the item instead of a full wash. Okay, I, I like the idea of smart laundry. They let you do the things that you know how to do with the manual controls, so you don't feel like you're losing anything, obviously, by having a smart washer. You don't have to worry that it's gonna do stuff you don't want it to, but if you are unsure, or maybe you just can't be bothered, then you can let the laundry machine do it for you. Maybe you'll have better luck than me not shrinking my crap. Another thing I do wish is that companies could figure out a way to transfer all of the laundry from the washer to the dryer automatically. And then, while we're at it, why not have it come out folded and ready to be put away? Basically, I need Rosie from the Jetsons. That's, that's where we need to get to at some point, guys. Now, shout out again to GE Profile for sponsoring this video and for showing me some cooler things about Smart Laundry that I didn't realize. Uh, if you want more information on what they're doing with Smart Laundry or more information on this exact model of Smart Laundry machines, I'll leave a link below for you to check that out. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching. Even in the basement of a house in a small town, sounds fine to me. This time it's Winston, the dog. No doubt angry about someone or something just casually walking by. Can't have that. Gotta bark at it. Are you done? I think he's done. I hope he's done. Nope. <laughs> Coffee break. Sounds of people flushing. I can't get away from it. The act of washing is what... Everyone's going to the bathroom at the same time. Apparently. <laughs>